Hey you guys, I'm Dr. Sharma, and I am a radiologist, which means I'm a physician who takes images and interprets them, trying to see what pathology there is for our clinical physicians. As you know, the coronavirus pandemic has been taking a huge toll on healthcare as a whole. There is an incubation period of the infection, which makes it a very insidious virus. And since the rate of infections has been increasing dramatically in the U.S., I, of course, using Imaging findings have been seeing this more and more often. And I'd like to review a case with you to sort of just review some of the findings that we see. So here we have pulled up is a chest x-ray of a patient and I've omitted the age, gender, and other clinical factors just doing this as a case presentation. And so on this chest x-ray, some of you may not know, but a chest x-ray is used to evaluate the lungs as well as the chest and the heart and the, and the thoracic anatomy. So here we have the heart and here are the lungs which are protected by the ribs. And the lungs are basically super important organs which exchange oxygen from the air that we breathe here from the mouth into the throat and down into the lungs in order to fill our blood with oxygen and supply it to the rest of the body. So here we don't really see too much. It lo looks relatively normal. Maybe there may be some patchy infiltrations sort of developing here. That's one of the words that we use, but not really too impressive. Here we see a lot of change, and this is only a matter of five days. And if you're not too impressed by the changes that we see, I'm going to point them out for you. The easiest way to do that is to compare it to the normal and just to see what exactly we're seeing five days later. Well, there's a lot of changes, meaning there is damage or something going on with the lungs within multiple parts of the lungs, such as the right upper lobe here, here, the right lower lobe, as well as the left lobe. It's a diffuse process that's occurring throughout the lungs in a sort of patchy pattern. And this developing in over just a span of five days is pretty significant and very soon. It really gives you an indication of the progression of symptoms and the clinical features that can occur with this type of infection. Now we're going to go through the CT scan just to review some of the other findings that we can see. Here as I click through the CT scan you can see that there are diffuse ground glass opacifications throughout the lung fields. It's pretty significant and it has a tendency to affect the lower lobes more. And while these findings aren't necessarily specific for any one type of infection, there are sensitive findings for COVID infections, such as the ground glass patchy opacifications and the crazy paving type pattern of intralobar thickening. And if you're wondering what crazy paving pattern means, it's essentially a pattern of different shapes of stones used for flooring. The other thing that makes this virus so deadly is that when it infects respiratory cells, it allows the opportunity of other bacterial infections to occur. This happens in influenza as well, when the influenza virus infects respiratory cells and allows for a superimposed bacterial infection. It's like a pneumonia that occurs on top of just the viral infection, which happens very often with COVID-19 infections. Now reviewing this is of course not meant to scare you. It's not meant to give you any sort of anxiety or anything like that. I just think more education and knowing more about the images and more about the quick rapid progression of the disease is just helpful information. In addition, as long as you practice safe hygiene, such as not touching your face often and washing your hands for at least 20 seconds, which has been scientifically proven to decrease the transmission of bacterial and viruses, practicing safe social distancing, but not necessarily socially isolating yourself, we can definitely try to bring the rate of infection down and definitely help others who would not be able to handle this infection as well. Right now, our healthcare is at a maximum capacity and it's gonna be extremely hard if we don't start to practice techniques that will help decrease the transmission of this virus, which is what makes it so detrimental and so deadly. If you guys have any other specific questions, comments, please let me know. And as always, please continue to practice safe hygiene and socially distance during these times. Good luck and take care.